Hello Gardner Webb students and welcome to the Bulldog Fantasy. We're here to talk about your fantasy football and I'm Matthew Johnson and this is Jared McMurray. How you doing Jared? Doing well Matt. Well we're gonna start off by talking about your quarterback of the week. Who do you think is gonna rack up your points? I really like Eli Manning. Manning accounted for five total touchdowns last Thursday night against Washington. He's looked crisper and cleaner each and every week this season. I look for him to dominate a Falcons defense that's given up a lot of points each and every week this season. Who do you think is going to break the line of defense and get you points as a running back? DeMarco Murray. Murray is leading the league in rushing yards with almost 600 yards on the ground. Even though Tony Romo has picked it up and the offense has gained more consistency, I really look for Jason Garrett and the Cowboys to still go to the ground game and look for DeMarco Murray to really get a lot of carries. Who do you think is going to catch the ball the most and be a good wide receiver? Old man Steve Smith. Steve had a really good game last week against his former team in the Carolina Panthers, catching two touchdowns. I really like him this week with his matchup against the Indianapolis Colts, who have a depleted secondary and just lost their best safety, Lauren Landry, to a suspension this week. Who's going to stop that ball and be your top defense? Fly, Eagles, fly. If the Eagles offense doesn't get their act together, the defense is going to have to continue to pick it up just to keep the Philadelphia in the ball game. And last week at San Francisco, the Eagles defense and special teams accounted for three total touchdowns. Who's going to be your sleeper for this week? Darren Reeves. A lot of you probably don't know the name Darren Reeves, but he's going to be the starting running back in the Carolina backfield this week with their three running backs all out due to injury. If Carolina's staff really believes in Darren Reeves, then I think we should too, and he's a potential sleeper this week in fantasy. Who's going to be your waiver wire pickup? You're done out. Larry Donnell. Larry Donnell. The reason I said his name three times is because he scored three touchdowns last week for the New York Giants. Donnell's only owned in 19% of the leagues, and if he's not on your team, you need to own him now. He's been Eli Manning's number one target this season so far and leads the Giants in receiving yards. Who are you going to start in your stardom? I really like Jay Cutler. You're thinking Jay Cutler didn't have a really good game last week against Green Bay, throwing two crucial interceptions late in the second half. I really like his matchup against Carolina this week. Carolina has got absolutely tore apart by Joe Flacco and Ben Roethlisberger in the past couple of weeks, and I really feel like Jay Cutler can have a good, solid week against the Carolina defense with a healthy Alshon Jeffrey and Brandon Marshall. Talking about the bench, who are you going to sit in the sit DJ Spiller. Look for Spiller's productivity to go down. It's been a trend recently in the past couple of years that he starts out with a good, solid first couple of weeks, but then Fred Jackson continues to take more and more touches and carries away from him as the season goes on. Also, the Bills have, st have been starting quarterback E.J. Manuel and placed Kyle Orton in the starting lineup. Kyle Orton has proved to be a pocket passer in this league and look for him to really spread the ball around to multiple people. Get out. All right. Thank you, Jared, for giving us all your information. And thank you guys for tuning in this week. And tune in next week to catch up on your fantasy football for the week. We are now going to go on the field to catch up with what you guys have to say. Top player this week is going to be uh, Phillip Rivers. I like him uh, slinging the ball against a suspect uh, New York Jets secondary. So uh, I think I'll light him up. This season, I've been lucky. Um, I had a couple of bad, bad people out with buys last week with Gio Bernard and Marshawn Lynch. But uh, my boys are back, and uh, I'll be out just on. I'll be all right this week. Defense, I'm gonna give the Saints a redemption shot um, after they blew it last week against uh, the Cowboys. I, lo uh, I like them at home against Tampa Bay. Uh, I'm between uh, Aaron Rodgers and LaShawn McCoy. LaShawn McCoy had a, a terrible week last week. Uh, gonna give him one more chance before he goes on the trading block. Uh, and hopefully Aaron Rodgers will have a good week against uh, Minnesota. Not necessarily injuries have played me, but um, definitely some of the uh, NFL scandal have uh, have lost uh, Adrian Peterson. That was a uh, uh, first round pick, uh, number one pick. That was a complete loss. Uh, just hate to see that guy sitting on the bench. Bengals on defense this week. Uh, I don't usually keep a, a regular defense like a lot of people do. I bounce around and see who's going to score me the most points. Uh, New England was pretty pitiful last week, so hopefully the Bengals will be able to, to uh, hold, hold them and, and get some decent points this week. Thanks for watching. I'm Matthew. And I'm Jared. Tune in next week for the next Bulldog Fantasy so you can get your fantasy football needs.